What is up everyone and welcome to an unboxing of an essential product that I have needed for as long as I can remember. I could have done with one of these all the way back in 2010 when I started fiddling around with SATA drives when I first got my Power Mac G5. Here we have a docking station. Um, what is this specific one? Inner Tech USB 3.0 SATA HDD docking station. Inner Tech, I think that's how you say it anyway. FD 1005, 10,000, uh, 1005 or 1005, whatever. Super speed, tool free. USB 3.0, all that jazz. There are loads of these available. I just plumped for the one that looked the least crappy from the picture, and I went for it. I think it was about 15 pounds. Here it is. Um, I know Will, the tech plank, will be very, very proud of me for getting one of these. I definitely need one. And as you guys know, the Hackintosh is now complete, so it is about time that I started sorting out my data and using this dock to migrate files from place to place and drive to drive. Um, so, I've really needed this. This is going to be a short little video, but an essential little video. It only took me five years to get one. Here it is, sitting here in front of me. I don't have amazing first impressions because the box is rattling a bit, but I guess if I do that too much, then I'll probably just break it. So this is the unboxing of this dock. Hope you all enjoy. First off, we have sellotape. Now let's get the knife and try our best to just... Crap, that didn't work. This way then. No. Okay, so, yeah, I cut through the box accidentally. Whatever, it's open anyway. And now we have an excess piece of cardboard. Excellent, so, here we are. And we are greeted with the dock itself. This looks quite nice, cool. So the dock wasn't moving around. It must be all the crap that comes with it. So we'll put that to one side. We'll take a close, closer look at that later. Here we have a plastic insert. You could keep it if you wanted a podium for your dock. That could be cool. Does it interfere with the connectors? No, it does not. But I will not be doing that as this looks big and bulky enough already. <laughs> Guys, I am cracking up. I've had a week off, so I've been on my own far too long this week and I haven't been using my voice. Um, so talking is a little bit surreal as well. Uh, returns and exchanges policy. May need that if I break it in the first five minutes. And then in this bottom bit of the box, if I can get it out, Oh man, come on. Great. I assume in here there is nothing left in there. Can you see in there? Absolutely nothing. Just throw that to one side. I tend to keep my boxes for products like this for a couple of weeks until uh, until I see that everything is okay and then I chuck them out. Having said that, I've got a lot of boxes for random products uh, stored away in my wardrobe. So in here we have what I assume is the two essential cables that we need. One of them being, and yes I am correct, the USB 3.0 cable. Let's take a look at this and assess the quality of the cable. Come on, cable tie, do not defeat me. There we go. So, average in length, as you can see, that, that is the length. <laughs> and uh, we have the USB 3.0 Type A, is it? Or Type B connector, two Type A connector, whatever it is, they're blue and USB 3.0. I am now pretty much totally USB 3.0 orientated, guys. As you know, my Hackintosh has got a load of 3.0 ports. Uh, specifically, I think it's got six or is it eight? I think it's eight. It's got eight USB 3.0 ports because I added some extra. And um, I now have a USB 3.0 card reader thing and I've got this dock and I've got a USB 3.0 external hard drive. So I'm going to be pretty speedy all around. Um, of course, here is the power brick. Not too big, not too small. It's got some wavy lines on it, some kind of design that I've never really seen before. But there is the power brick. Of course, this is yet another thing to take up another power socket. And... Let's untwist this. I don't know if you guys find this interesting, but the quality of the cable tie used for the USB cable is much nicer than the cable tie used for the power adapter. As you can see there, they are totally, totally different. But anyway, let's move that over there. Take a look at the power cable. The cable is nice and generously long on the power cable itself, so that is good. 
moving the box off to the side. Let's throw some of this other junk over there. We don't need any of that. Here is the dock itself. Now, you guys will be proud of me. I have conveniently got um, a demonstration set of hard drives that I took out of my box somewhere. Where are they? They are here on my floor. So, this dock is pretty cool. You can dock, of course, the most important thing and what I will be using the most, 3.5 inch SATA hard drives. And I assume you just slot them in and push down and that is a docked drive. As you can see, um, that is actually a, a nicer looking device than I thought it would be. It's a lot nicer looking than some of the other drives available. I got this from Amazon, by the way, guys. I'll leave a link in the video description if I remember. So that's the USB 3.0 drive. It just pushes the little flap down like that. And then you can even dock, let's remove it from the anti-static bag, if you so desire, a 2.5 inch hard drive, and it goes in this little slot. Let's see how easy that is to do. That is very easy to do. Bit of play on that one, bit more wiggle than I'd like, but it does rest against the cover, so that's not too bad. It's not as if you'd be picking it up like that when the drive is actually inserted anyway. Yanking that out, you can even use this dock, of course, with an SSD. There is nothing stopping you using an SSD. There is that pushed in there. And of course, all work brilliantly. But the key thing to remember, guys, is you cannot use both at the same time. They use the same slot. Some of these hard drive docks have two slots. And you can get them in dual SATA variety. Um, and then, of course, they can support like cloning and stuff on board. I have no interest in that whatsoever. I'd much rather manage that on my own system so I know what I'm doing rather than letting a cheapo little plastic device handle things like cloning for me because obviously data is important. You can get dual uh, docks that have an IDE dock in the back and a SATA dock in the front. It would be handy, but I think if I do want an IDE dock in the future, I will buy a separate dock because I'm not too fussed on the idea of having such a big device and uh, they were a bit more expensive anyway and they were kind of ugly looking. So um, that is that all in all. But just in case anyone is interested, if you look in there, I know it's not gonna be brilliantly in focus. You're actually using the same SATA connections for the uh, 2.0, uh, for the 2.5 inch drives and the 3.5 inch drives. If you line up a 2.5 inch drive on top of a 3.5 inch drive, you can see the physical connectors are the same, unlike IDE drives. So this makes them both dockable. So all they needed to do was give you a little guide, a little cutout there, which is exactly what they've done. And that allows you to slide in the 2.5 inch drive. Looking on the bottom, one feature that I do like is it does have anti-slip feet and the dock is not slipping. You can move it across the desk easily, but it does not slip. So when you are shoving the drive in, and of course you've got to be careful with hard drives anyway, when you're shoving them in, it does not go 20 miles across the desk and drop off the back and break something. So that is good. Pulling that out and accidentally slamming that drive down, it's already pretty much knackered anyway. On the back, plain and simple, USB 3.0, power and a power switch. Now the important thing to remember is if you knock this switch off while you're transferring your data, that is bad of course. So I'll be careful with that switch. Um, yeah, that is that. I assume that you can just leave it on when the drive is connected or whatever. But I'll tell you what we'll do guys, just for a little bit of added excitement in this video, we will plug the damn thing in and see if it works. Why the hell not? Because I'm sure you're all curious. Let's get the USB cable. I've, uh, I'm still rocking my Mac Pro as my main machine at the moment, guys. So there will be videos to come on changing to my Hackintosh. Um, of course, we'll be plugging this into a USB 2.0 for now. There it is. I was looking for the power adapter. It was right there. And we can spin up this old 80 gigabyte crappy hard drive that came in my G5 and see if it still reads. Let's do it. Okay, it's time to get some action with this thing. Let's grab the drive. Um, I think we will start with the dock off in the off position. That would be good. And we will slam the drive in like so. And let's turn it on. See what it does. Okay, the drive has spun up, guys, interestingly enough. Um, this looks like an activity light, but it has not illuminated at all. Um, let me think. The USB cable is plugged in. Now, I'm looking at the desktop of my Mac, and this drive is not mounted yet. Let me see. Oh, hang on a sec. Have I plugged it in? Sorry, everyone. I... <laughs> I haven't plugged the USB in. Give me a second. Guaranteed that uh, that light will start flickering. 
Which one of these can I unplug? This one. Plug that in. See what it does. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So it has... Ooh, <laughs> listen to that. Oh, nice. Crunchy. That is actually really damn loud, guys. Holy crap. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds brilliant. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to eject it on the desktop. Hang on a sec, guys. You'll be hearing me in stereo now because I'm switching to the other side of the camera. Let's eject that. And it spins down. Great stuff. So I assume that to be safe, you have to turn it off in between changing drives. Let's just test it with a 2.0 drive. Or can I just yank it out? Let's just yank it out, stuff it. Okay, the light goes off. I've either broken it or it's fine to yank it out. Let's plug that in and see what it does. There we go, it's lit up again. And this is a smaller drive, so I may not be able to hear it spin up. I believe that it's spin up. I can't really tell the difference because I've got that ridiculously loud server underneath. Any joy? Anything? Flickering? Oh wait, I don't know if this hard drive works. I don't, this hard drive may not work. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'll turn it off because I feel a bit bad about just interrupting it. Let's put the hard drive to one side and try the SSD because I know the SSD works. Let's pop that in. Oh crap. Have I done that the right way? Yeah. Turn it on. And that's an SSD. And that has appeared on the desktop. Cracking, guys. So that is reading the SSD. Let me just click and take a little look. OCZ. Brilliant. Perfect. This still has a version of OS X on it. So I'll eject that. Blue light will go off. Any second now or, or remain as a constant. Anything? It's not ejecting yet. Come on. Eject. Oh, can't eject. Whatever. Turn it off. Hope for the best. Disk not ejected properly. Yeah, I know. Okay, cool. That's that. So everyone, this is my new USB 3.0, 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch hard drive dock. It's an awesome little piece of kit. I know I've been taking the mick out of it slightly throughout this video, but um, you know, it's just a block of plastic with a SATA connector in it really. It'll really come in handy. I'm so glad I've got one. Like I say, at least five years too late, but better late than never. Hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing and overview of this crazy product. I really needed one of these. Expect another one in the future if I decide to get an IDE one. Um, this will make my life a lot easier with data transfers, especially uh, talking about the Hackintosh, especially, you know, um, what's the word I'm trying to use here? Especially when it comes to transferring files to the Hackintosh. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. They're just very, very handy. So I'm very pleased with this. Only time will tell if it lasts. Link in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, as usual. And of course, I will see you in tomorrow's video.